Hello and welcome to another update video about Edgix. Um, continue to count this in an unchanged way. So wave one to the upside peaked here in February and then this ABC structure to the downside in which we completed the A wave already in March, 10th of March, the B wave top here. That was back in also March, a week later. And then now we're looking at this C wave here to the downside, which actually comes across as impulsive because we don't even have an overlap between wave one and four. And um, the sub waves can be counted as five wave moves. Yeah. And therefore also the last wave down here needs to be a five wave move. So at the moment we only have three and um, it reacted obviously to our resistance area. Bear in mind weeks ago we said this looks like a crystal clear three wave structure to the upside which could follow through to the upside but should really go down make another low relevant support was 17.3 cents it reacted to it and already rallied quite a bit of the low however again only in a three wave structure and in the member live stream we looked at edgix today and i said look this still looks like a wave four um, it came to resistance, obviously, because this is previous support around 22.7 cents, reacted to resistance already. We had a trend line on the chart. That trend line just broke. And it could be that it's now heading down in a fifth wave to the downside. Make one more low. Now, the problem with one more low is, and again, I need to see a break below the B wave low to confirm that. That would be at 18.5 cents. If it breaks below that level, then next support is again 17.3. But below that level, I have a problem because it would break below the 78.6 retracement. Again, that would be not that would not be so healthy and good for further continuation in a third wave rally, because that's when probabilities shift more towards bearish scenarios. However, um, we still have support below that. So I mean, I've got the 16 cent level below that, and then the 10.9 cent level, which is the 88.7 fib level, is just below that. I have nothing. Um, it's just that probabilities shift towards more bearish setups or more bearish scenarios if price breaks below the 78.6 FIP level. But we can still give it a chance because it basically the count suggests one more low. And if it just makes it one more low but recovers fairly quickly, it would still have a chance. So yeah, I'm still I'm still looking at uh, one more low here probably. However, as soon as price gets a five wave move of the lows and it's far away from that. But if we get a five wave move up, then we can look at something more bullish. At the moment, this is a crystal clear three wave move. And if we get a break with the small swing high there at 21.8 cents, that's already the first signal that things are going to head to the downside. So I keep you updated about Edgex. This can, of course, follow through to the upside, but then I need to see a break below, uh, sorry, a buff. 22.7 cent resistance first and we now broke a trend line doesn't really look like it yeah that's my update about edgix hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye